Washing my hair, my curls be popping. Hold up, what shampoo you using, girl? Girl, I use that rosemary mint shriftness shampoo, infused with biotin, and it covers just hair growth. Girl, this shampoo be having my roots stimulating and feeling minty. That's how I know it's working. And it leaves my hair fresh and clean. Not dry. Fresh and clean. After that, you gotta go in with the rosemary mint shriftening hair mask. Word? Guys, you gotta lock in that moisture. Plump up those curls. So your wash day routine is complete. Once I'm done with that girl, I go in with the Mayel White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. And this one is color safe because you know your girl always got a new color. And I just spray this all over my head. You wondering why I'm always closing my eyes when I'm touching my hair. I'm just giving it that tender love and care. And this product is so great. It's just like mesmerizing. <laughs> so guys, after I go with my leave-in conditioner, I go in with this moisturizing milk from the Rice Water Collection, which is great at length retention and hydrating my hair when i tell you this brings so much hydration to my hair sets a dime amount but i don't follow instructions i go about this much rub my hands together get a gooey and just rub in my hair and i'm making sure i'm getting my ends in my Roots, guys. Next, I go with my rosemary mint scalp and hair shriftening oil. This is also infused with biotin and encourages hair growth. You can use this daily for scalp treatment and split in care. This oil is amazing. And as you can see, I am doing the LOC method leave in oil cream. Yeah, girl, it's the best. So I just take some and I put it in my scalp all over now let's get into the styling i love to use my yellow pomegranate and honey twist and souffle and this is for a tight four hair yes i did use all four lines rosemary and mint white peony rice water and the pomegranate and honey collection one thing about my hair products you can use any product from any collection put them together and they work as a whole leaving your hair hydrated moisturize the fun feeling great okay guys so here is when i start to use my twist and souffle in my hair this cream is very thick and it just hydrates my hair and pumps my curls so now i'm doing three strand twists i think this method is the best for the style that i am achieving which is a three strand twist Bantu knot afro. So just activating all the products I put in previously with water, more cream, three strand twists. Let's begin. It's simpler than it looks. I'm telling you right now, it is. And I am heavy on the product. Heavy on the product. Final results. Plump luscious curls. Now it's time to be to knot it up and I'm doing this with all my hair and you can secure it with a rubber band if you like we are all done now now it's time to put on your bonnet secure it go to sleep wake up the next day or your scalp and I'm using the Mayel rosemary and mint shriftening hair and scalp or you rubbing it all over and now I am unraveling the bantu knots. This is just a close up of how I unravel the bantu knot, starting from the bottom and just twisting all the way up the barrel and pulling the rubber band from the top all the way down. Now I am unraveling the twist, 
pulling them apart, separating each and every twist. This is a close-up of how I separate the curls with my fingers. Then I go in with my pick, very light, starting with the front, the middle, working my way down to the back. Then afterwards, I go in with a white tooth comb and repeat the same steps. Just a little fluff with your fingers. Go in with the comb one more time. And girl, you are finished through your baby hairs and you are on fleek. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose.